What's up guys, welcome back to more J Stew. As you can see, I am with my wife Brittany and what are we gonna be doing today? We are making a box basement fort. That's right, as you can see behind me, we just got back from the store. We got a ton of cardboard, we got some tape, some scissors, you know, all the supplies that you need in order to make a fort. And as you can see, Andrew is not here because today's fort is a family fort. I don't know if you guys remember, but Brittany and I made a fort in our house a long time ago. Brittany, do you remember the first fort we did together? And We did that fort and Tenley wasn't even born. And now we're doing another fort and Tenley's gonna be here for this one. Tenley's gonna be here, but right now she's currently taking a nap. Look, look at her, she's taking a nice nap. So mom and dad are gonna do all the hard work. And then once the fort is a little much built together, We'll invite her down. Oh, and Daisy's gonna be joining us as well. Daisy, how you doing? Daisy? But here's the space that Bernie and I are gonna be building the fort. There is plenty of room. And the good thing about doing forts in your own house is you can literally move everything around. You don't have to stress out about getting caught or getting in trouble. So I think I have a good idea for this fort, but first let's get to the whiteboard. Okay. We're at the whiteboard now. Always good idea to kind of draw out your ideas, basement floor plan. So here's the room that we were just in. This is the TV. We got the two couches right here. This is a beam. So did you have any initial ideas when you first saw the basement? I don't know. I'm kind of like honestly putting it all on your shoulders just cause you've made. Yeah, I have made hundreds of floors, so that makes sense. <laughs> here's my idea guys. Since this is the TV, we obviously kind of want to make the fort comfy and cozy and want to have it like be a TV room. So we can put a bunch of cardboard right here. We can move this couch, we can move it. So we'll delete this. If we move that, get it out of the way, that leaves this whole space. We can even scoot the couch over a little bit. So we go like this. This could be the outer wall. We could even make like a door somehow like right here. So like this is could be the entrance or we could expand it out to here and go to that beam so that the walls like the wall like goes around the beam and then goes right back here. And then that leaves if we have extra boxes, we can either make a roof or expand the floor and make like cool little rooms. How about we put a tunnel somewhere? Ah, a tunnel. Every box fort needs a tunnel. That's the thought brought out. That's perfect. So right when you come down the basement stairs, you are directed right into the tunnel. Go here, you have to crawl around. And here's the main hangout zone. But this is a pretty good base layer idea. What do you think? I like it. We will need snacks soon. Don't worry, the motto over here is must have snacks. So I promise we'll have good snacks. <laughs> Tip, if you're building a fort in your house, make sure you vacuum the space. <laughs> because there might be bugs, villains, spiders. You don't want those in the fort, right? We have spideys. A key hack that Andrew and I figured out because of all the box forts we have built is to get like a knife like this. This is like an X-Acto knife. What you do is you cut the edges here. Obviously be careful because these things are sharp. That one is like kind of dull. Oh, there you go. There. <laughs> Cause see, when you open it up, it makes like a huge piece. So if we start the wall over here. Oh man, the opportunities are endless. Okay, we have to do this because there has to be a snack room. Maybe okay. we should make it bigger. Yeah, we can make it as big as you want. <laughs> One of the reasons we got the different colors tapes is to tape up all these creases. Because when you tape up the creases, it makes the wall much more stronger and firm to stay so it doesn't just get knocked down. So very nice, just like that guys. You're already a fort building pro. <laughs> so this is the fun part. Brittany and I are getting a little creative because as you can see, you can stack the boxes and make them like even bigger. Like we started with just one wall, but then as you can see, it's like not that high compared to the, the TV right there. But with this TV being up here, it's like it almost reaches the TV. So we're thinking if we put the double layer wall right there and do it around the whole fort, that might be better. It only takes up two boxes that high and we have like 10 more boxes. I have one for the tunnel. So I think- Should I tape more? 
Yes. This is almost as tall as me. So we got it all taped up. <sighs> Look at this. See if we put it up, it literally almost reaches the TV. It makes it more feel like a movie room. Guys, Tenley just woke up from her nap. It's time to go get her. She's crying. <laughs> It's Tenley's first appearance! Hey! <laughs> Her hair! Oh, baby! Say hey to everyone! She's like, I didn't have time to prepare! Hey! Hey! She's like, I'm not even running! Tenley! Guess what? We're building a fort! Do you like forts? We're building a fort! Do you like forts? Brittany and I earlier today were actually talking about creating like traditions for our family and we thought what a better thing to do than to do yearly forts because as you guys know we create forts just for fun but I love making forts anyways and I think having this to do with her is just creating more memories something we can look back on I mean Tenley's just confused <laughs> So we're starting the yearly Stuart tradition fort building in the basement. And it'll be cool to see Tenley grow up over the years and be a fort builder herself. She's hungry too. Tenley, you want snacks? Must have snacks! Must have snacks! <laughs> What's going on in there? Uh, uh. What? Rags by Tenley. <laughs> Almost done with the big wall pieces. And I also have some special things that I'm gonna install into the fort, which I'll show you guys later, but I think they're so cool and they're definitely gonna add and make this fort the best. Hey, Tenley, can you hold the tape for us while we can you hold that? put the fort together? Just, yeah, grab it like that. Good. And just hang oh. on tight, okay? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh. No eating the tape, though. We don't, we don't eat that, okay? <laughs> I got some snacks. <laughs> yes. I look like I've been lazy this whole time, but I've actually been taking actually, care of the baby. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, taking care of a baby is a whole job in itself. <laughs> so, Tenley. She's like, I'm not that hard. You're not that hard to take care of, are you? She's not. She's just but look what we got. We got some honey almonds, yes. a glazed mix. These are really good. And then this I saw was interesting. What is this? It's like... Chewy uh, fruit nut chips. <laughs> yeah. And then we got some watermelon. But obviously the snacks are out some of the snacks and the fort isn't even fully finished yet well we have plenty of snacks we're at home we can have as many snack breaks as we want right many snacks. i mean if tenley approves then i approve she's looking at the ingredients right now are those good ingredients ten check it out Brittany got on a tenley mobile device so that tenley can ride and both her arms are free how Why? cool is that? Why didn't we do this early? Every time you're looking at the camera, Tenley, you're like looking so confused. I don't think you've ever vlogged her with that camera. No. This is a pretty big lens, so she's probably like, what is that? But anyways, so guys, all the walls are up. Check it out. This is looking epic. And one note, I'm going to just leave this as like a door because obviously... I ain't gonna make mom and Tenley crawl through any tunnels, but I'm still gonna create a tunnel. It's gonna be right here. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut a hole so that the tunnel can just insert right here. And there's the tunnel. Right behind this piece is the secret room, guys. So now I'm cutting the door. We just put the roof on. And cutting doors is so easy. That's why it makes this so much fun. All the girls are by the snacks. <laughs> Good job, Dad. Hey. What? I caught you smiling. I caught you smiling. Jay? <laughs> Daisy! Door complete. <laughs> yeah, you like it in here? This is a Daisy sport, too. Yeah. 
That looks so good. I know. It's going to be a nice room in there. Snack number two coming in, guys. Cookies and milk. Yes. I'm outside of the secret room. Check it out. Oh, yeah. We got a cool light in here. It's got these if you want. Like, let's turn these guys on. Nice little touch. But I added this custom shelf because this can be used for snacks, toys, whatever you want, storage. Got a bunch of Laugh Daily stickers. If you guys haven't seen the stickers in our merch store. This is pretty cool though. Got a roof here too. So just a nice little space outside of the movie room. It's epic. Finishing up the edit of the video right now and I just realized we didn't create an ending for the video. Pen. Nice. What was that all about? And she was in charge of it, so. Did you have fun on your first fort? What do you think? Tell everybody what you thought. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's fort episode. A little different. You like the uh, new tradition that we're creating for I the like fam? It. I like it a lot. It'll be like awesome too, like when she's older and she can help. <laughs> yeah, so next year we're gonna do another one, of course, but all that being said, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys laugh daily, and we'll see you next time.